Hi, I'm Evan English from Old English Outfitters. Today we're going to talk about the Ruger Pistol Caliber Carbine. About a year ago when this first came out, we did an unboxing. We took it out of the box, we looked at it for the first time, but this is uh, something we've wanted to do for a while was to take it out on the range, actually give it a try. Pistol cal Caliber Carbines are really becoming popular. They're something that makes a lot of sense because we all have a handgun in 9mm. We probably want a carbine or something to take to the range that's a little more fun uh, that also uses 9mm. Uh, there's some in other calibers, but 9mm does seem to be the predominant caliber and the one that's going to be the most popular. Uh, so let me go over the features of this rifle. I'll try to remember them all and we'll start at the at the tail end of the gun here and uh, and go toward the muzzle. I want to first note that we've got a flag in the chamber just so that everybody uh, watching can see that it's safe and uh, that we've cleared the firearm and cleared the room. Uh, so we've got an adjustable butt plate. You can take these spacers out to reduce the length of pull. You can't reduce it a lot here. It looks like you can drop maybe three-eighths to a half of an inch in order to make it a little bit shorter if you've got a shorter reach. Uh, as you move forward, you've got a, a, a black synthetic stock. It's got good textured gripping with palm swells at the grip. Uh, very nicely featured when you're uh, shooting it. Um, matching forward here, as far as grip's concerned, you also have that texturing on the forearm as well and some, uh, some detents where you can, your fingers can grip. So the stock itself is a, is a nice feeling. Uh, it has a nice cheek weld on it when you're shooting it as well. Uh, the trigger pull, uh, as we're moving forward here, the trigger is very crisp. Uh, we didn't measure it, but I'm gonna guess that it breaks at about four to five pounds. Uh, it's very crisp, it shoots very well. The safety is reversible. You can reverse it for right or left-handed, as is the bolt handle can be switched to the other side here as well. You can see the bolt hole in the other side. And the magazine release that is set for a right-hander on this side of the, of the rifle can also be switched to the other side of the rifle. Uh, I should point out that how to do all of those things, switching them, is very well detailed in Ruger's manual. I spent some time in there this morning uh, making sure I understood how to do things and I thought their instructions were very clear. Uh, the Picatinny rail on top makes it easy to mount any sort of an optic. Uh, most of them, most of the red dots uh, come with a, uh, a mount that fits this rail anyway, uh, and any standard mounts uh, from Burris or from Millet or from Weaver, um, any number of other manufacturers fit this 7 8 inch rail. Uh, so it's very easily mounted and you've got a lot of room for going forward uh, with the red dot or with a scope if you'd like. Uh, this seems to be very well suited for a, uh, a low power scope. Uh, it, we didn't shoot it at 100 yards, but I have to believe it would shoot semi-accurate out to 75 to 100 yards. Um, the sights themselves are a ghost ring style sight. You've got a circle with a blade in the front. The blade is a, uh, is a military style blade with wings out to the side and those Look, they have a very nice look to them. When you're putting them on target, uh, you can center it very easily. Uh, your eye wants to center it with the circle in the rear. Uh, so that ghost ring style sight is very easy to uh, easy to use. Uh, there is a forward Picatinny rail up here. Uh, it's a short one, one that you could put a light on or a laser if you wanted something to just mount an accessory up here if you needed to. Um, but it's there and available if you want to use it. Uh, moving all the way forward to the muzzle, this model does come with a threaded muzzle. You can see that I'm unthreading the cap here. I believe the threads are half inch 28, uh, half inch diameter 28 pitch, which is pretty standard for a lot of uh, muzzle devices. So uh, if you want to go through the, jump through the hoops to get a suppressor, uh, this would work very well with uh, subsonic ammo. Uh, if you wanted to put a, just a flash suppressor of some sort, half inch 28 is a good uh, universal thread for that. Um, so the and then last but not least, the barrel is fluted. Uh, it has a purpose to keep it uh, keep it cool. With nine millimeter, it's not going to get super hot. We did notice on the range that it does have a uh, it does get warm. I didn't want to carry it by that when we were walking back from the range. So the uh, as you look at the barrel, it's attractive. 
attractively fluted. It does help cool the barrel down, uh, but it's not like a, uh, like a 5.56, 223, where it's going to get super hot, super fast. Um, so one of the features I haven't hit on yet is the fact that this gun is a takedown. So we can take this apart in two pieces just by um, first bringing the bolt back, engaging the bolt stop, which is just ahead of the trigger guard. Uh, we'll remove the chamber flag for this. And by pulling on this latch that's on the bottom of the rifle, we can twist it and pull it apart into two pieces. It's very much a bayonet style mounting of the barrel. Very easily taken apart, very easily put back together just by pushing and twisting. Uh, one of the nice features of this rifle is that it comes with two different magazine wells. We can switch from magazines that fit the Ruger SR9, so they've sent their proprietary magazine in it. Uh, they also make one that you can buy for the Ruger American magazines. Uh, so the uh, you can you can switch those magazine wells out. Coming with the rifle, what comes with it is the one for the SR9, but in the box you'll find one for a Glock 9mm magazine. Uh, at the moment, that's what we have installed. This is a Glock 15 round Model 19 magazine. Slides right in, locks into place. Uh, it does actually engage the bolt stop. Everything works, works very well. And you can even go to the 33 round magazines, um, Glock standards. This particular one happens to be from an aftermarket SGM tactical. Um, same there. This one hangs out a good bit further, but does give you enough rounds in it to make your arms tired before you finish shooting it. Um, one of the things I wanted to go over today is just how easy it is to change this mag, mag wells out. So, uh, in order to do that, the first thing we have to do is uh, is to open the rifle, taking the barrel off. We're going to take the Allen wrench that they supply with it, removing the Allen head screws. Now, I should say as I'm doing this, one of the important things that the manual tells you to do is to engage the bolt, push the bolt back and engage the stop. That's important for two reasons. One is so that you, it's easy to take the barrel on and off. The second thing that it's important for is to put tension on that magazine release so that when you pull it out, it doesn't fall out of the gun. Uh, I had that happen earlier. It was uh, not panic inducing, but it does make you stop and take a look. Where did that come from? Uh, once you've done that, if you push the magazine release here to disengage it, you can reach in and slide that whole assembly out. You can then take the replacement one, slide back in, push it in until it clicks back into place. At that point, it's ready to put back together. You do have to watch to make sure the action pins in the action don't slide either way when you when they come out. Otherwise, they would stop the stock from sliding on. Very simply, just run the screws back in. At this point, you can re-engage the barrel. And it's now ready to take the Ruger SR9 magazine, locks into place perfectly. All in all, this was a very pleasant gun to shoot, very pleasant gun to work with. Uh, I would, I have uh, at a retail price of around $500, I would think that it's a bargain. Uh, there's a lot of other AR style 9mm carbines that are running well over $1,000 up to the uh, Sig Sauer MPX that is running in the $2,000 range, the $1,800 to $2,000 range. For $500, this rifle from Ruger really is a bargain. That's Ruger's sweet spot anyway. They like to make, they make a very 
functional, usable firearm for a very reasonable price. And they were, this was no different. This was exactly what you'd expect from Ruger, exactly what you'd expect from a pistol caliber carbine. It's extremely functional, extremely usable, and we loved shooting it. Uh, for one-fourth of the price of the MPX and, and half to one-third of the price of the, uh, of the other AR-style carbines, I'd recommend this to anyone. I'm Evan English. Thanks for tuning in, into our channel. Uh, if you would like a comment and subscribe, and we'll see you next week.